So an evening at Rails will go something like this. You walk in and instantly realize that this isn't like any other restaurant. I mean, the design is breathtaking. Sprawling timber, natural stone walls, glass accents, fire and water features. There are two levels of restful lounge areas with plush leather chairs and couches. You've got to begin there with one of the signature cocktails. Trust me, as you sit in the lounge sipping your drink and sampling the small plates, compliments of the chef, you can feel the stress leave your body. And then it's time to explore. Stroll down the catwalk to the elevated bar that's suspended above the main dining room. Walk down the stairs to the basement and find the secret passage that takes you to the wine cellar, steak aging room, private speakeasy. Get some fresh air and dine off fresco right next to a warm fireplace. The menu, it changes all the time depending on the season or what the chef finds at the farmer's market or the kitchen's latest experiment with exotic flavors. I mean, there's always the staples, amazing steaks and seafood dishes, but there's always something new to try. Just ask your server for suggestions. They're pretty old school when it comes to impeccable service, but unlike a lot of other places, the staff couldn't be friendly or, or more approachable. My favorite thing about Rails, um, it might be that it's sort of like two restaurants. During the week, there's a bistro-styled menu with burgers and ribs and seafood, sandwiches and salads for the whole family. And then on the weekends, it's all about fine dining and a night out with friends. There's always something unexpected but the one thing that doesn't change is the feeling you get when you're there. Like this special guest whose host is determined to make sure you enjoy every second of your visit. Who doesn't want that?